This video explains how to use SUP706 Soluble Support Material for Stratasys Connex 3D printers. SUP706 is especially effective for 3D printed parts with intricate geometries, internal cavities, as well as batches of small parts. To begin, you will need these basic components. A cleaning station, Stratasys cleaning solution, safety equipment, and an optional water jet. First, fill the water tank with regular tap water. Activate circulation. Now slowly pour the caustic sodium powder into the water. Please refer to the application notes for the quantity. Wait 15 minutes while the solution circulates. Slowly add the sodium metasilicate to the solution. Please refer to the application notes for the quantity. Wait 15 minutes while the solution circulates. Once the parts have been printed using SUP706 support material, remove them from the tray. Three different methods are available to remove SUP706 support material. Let's begin with the hands-free method. Place the 3D printed part inside the cleaning solution. Once the support material has been dissolved, rinse the part in tap water. This process is especially helpful for large batches of small parts. The peel and soak method is especially effective for parts with thick layers of support material. First, remove the support material manually. Then, place the partially cleaned part in the cleaning solution to remove the remainder of the material. Once the support material has been dissolved, rinse the part in tap water. Finally, you have the water jet method. Place the 3D printed part in the water jet device and simply rinse away the support material. No matter which method you choose, SUP706 significantly reduces the time and effort required to clean your 3D printed models, maximizing your productivity.